Hello and welcome back to Fading Hearts. I'm not going to tell you what episode it is, I can barely remember the name of the game. <laughs> it's been a while since we've done this and I do apologise, but I'm back here again and I'm really happy to say I'm back here with the wonderful and the irrepressible April and Laura. Say hello guys. Hi. <laughs> and we are, yeah, we've had to, we had to take a break because of uh, internet troubles and, but uh, they've got a pill for that now and it's sorted out. <laughs> So we're going to move on. Um, last time we were playing, we finally learned some very, very important things about Mystica. Mm -hmm. And I think we might have worked out why Rena has so much money and is so distracted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and can do such a great French accent. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, that, that still works. Yay! <laughs> Okay, all right, how are we doing? Let's have a quick look at our stats before we move on. We know Alex Clear Reader, a bit of magic. We know Mystica, but not hey the way we would like to. <laughs> and, right, we've got 178, so, so I'm thinking... Well, we could go outside, but I'm thinking this, just this one time, I think we're going to do some work, see if we get some more money. Okay. Use computer, work. Clear Sky Bank is a bad uh, idea. Let's yeah. do Miracle Game Studios and we'll do some database work for them. There we go. That will yeah. level up next time round. I go to bed and fall asleep. I didn't practice my magic. I'm feeling a bit pent up when I wake up the next day. <laughs> the teacher's passed out behind the desk. What should we do? Should we talk to Sophia? I can't think of a reason to do so, but it might be worth trying because of our revelations. Mm, or should we go somewhere else? Trying to talk to Sophia. Why not? Right. You're fighting your urge to have bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> do you need something? <laughs> Sorry. I, I have things to take care of today. I still am not convinced that my shoes are red. I'm trying to look. <laughs> I'll be going now. Until next time. Everybody just lies, lies to her to mess with her. <laughs> okay, right. What do you guys want to do? Uh, Cosplay. Laura, you just want to do your uh, servant voice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's your chance. Welcome back, Master. 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 <laughs> okay, should we hang out here or should we read? What do you guys think? Um, whatever. Let's hang out. Plop. I decided to hang out here for a while. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Make the bopping sounds. I feel better now, after resting for a bit. I zip up and leave and go home. <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic. <laughs> Flop. <laughs> okay, right. Um, actually, I'll tell you what. Let's level that up. Miracle Game Studios... Don't Boom. Hopefully yeah. we'll get some, a better bonus for that. I go to bed and fall asleep. It's been an exciting week for him. It has. <laughs> go somewhere else. Alright. Tachibana uh, Park? Let's go to Tachibana Park. Okay. Read, rest, go somewhere else. Let's read... Little Disruptor, Volume 2. I start reading Little Disruptor, Volume 2. Have we not read this before? No. Mm -hmm. In her studies, Ellie reads about how important love is to magical power. Oh, no one knows why, funny. but people whose hearts are full of love... <coughs> oh. I love stuff uh, like this! But, but people who... Oh, well, you read it then. No one knows why, but people whose hearts are full of love produce more magic in their bodies. Why did you do that sounding like a polymission? <laughs> <laughs> but Ellie has always been on the shy side, especially around boys. 
When she hears about how much power her classmates increased after finding boyfriends, she feels a little sad and lonely. And then she finds horses. <laughs> <laughs> she spends a lot of time thinking about the power of love and what she can do to overcome her shyness. Alright, so it's a little corny and cliche, but Ellie is a cute character, so I think... Oh, that's you, Simon. Yeah, I think we're back to the cynical side now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome back to the dark side. <laughs> Alright, so it's a little corny and cliche, but Ellie is a cute character, so I think I can forgive it. Laura, you really need to watch Sailor Moon if you're into sure. all that, like, power of love. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just felt that was kind of very disney <laughs> Reading in the park is so relaxing. <laughs> Sounds like I don't want to talk about it. Rhubarb, rhubarb. No, I'm a massive Sailor Moon fan. I'm yeah, he, he likes the, the magical girl thing. Sailor Moon is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> My mind starts to drift away. Magical girls. <laughs> no way. She lost to a dirty trick like that? Aghast. I can only sit there in the audience, dumbfounded, as her opponent has declared the winner. No! She did really well at first, but her wand mis- Oh, we, we all know that. We all have that, that problem. <laughs> you just have to rest. Try again in five minutes' time, it'll be fine. But her wand misfired at the worst possible time, costing her the match. Five minutes, God, that's short. And she still can't remember their opponent's name. So waste the time. <laughs> But someone sabotaged her wand. I know from all my experiments that that kind of broken spell only happens when you set a wand's modules a, a certain <laughs> improper what is, way. What is it, a sonic screwdriver? <laughs> <laughs> I've done it before to see what would happen. But there's no way she set her wand incorrectly before a big match like this. What sort of black-hearted witch wants to win this badly? Me! <laughs> I, think, I think back to the warm smiles on the faces of her and her siblings that night. She worked so much, harder than everyone else to make it this far, but she still has nothing to show for it. It makes me so angry, I want to scream. It makes me so angry, I want to <laughs> scream! <laughs> that cheetah doesn't know how many lives she ruins in her attempt to impress the prince chance remark I once overheard from his highness springs to mind. Perhaps this world would be a better place if magic no longer existed. At the time I was furious that he wanted the magic I loved so much to disappear, but now I finally understand what he means. If I had to choose between magic or the happiness of people like her and her family, I would give up my magic without a second's hesitation. A couple of women silently approach me, interrupting my thoughts with their silentness. As is my habit, I seize up their staves first to gauge what kind of mages they are. To my shock, they're both using non-standard types and arrangements. I've never seen these combinations before. One's using a broom, ha broom handle, the other one's using a Boeing 747. <laughs> and the possibilities they suggest make me want to bombard them with questions. Like, how can you carry that airplane? <laughs> this world is a cruel place where people's hearts are selfish and indifferent, one of them says to me. But we have a plan. With your help, we can change everything. She extends an open hand to me, and I take it without hesitation. In that moment, I finally found everything I sought. My head hurts. So I figured out what's happening. Mm-hmm. Rena and Rio and Claire are reincarnations of magical beings from the past who were leaders, and this magical past was slowly overwhelmed by shadow creatures. <laughs> well, that's, I think it might work because that's it, the it, plot does of Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah, it, it does explain why um, Rio is uh, well, basically as effective as a cardboard box. Uh, <laughs> Well, let's be honest with you, a cardboard box in a submarine competition. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Laura, you need to see Sailor Moon. It's so funny. There's this guy, he just like shows up 
-hmm. while the 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 sailors are fighting these like five young women they'll be fighting this guy shows up and he's wearing a tuxedo and he throws a rose and he's like he's like don't forget to brush your teeth like he'll say something useless like that (laughs) and then he'll be like i'm glad i was able to help and he'll just run away (laughs) the thing is it does help all the girls are bolstered by his 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 wise words and he's thrown rose and the battle turns in their favor yes that seems good well, he, okay, okay, he's got to understand something about Tuxedo Carmen here, okay? He is the only person who sees these girls mid-transformation and remembers <laughs> it. Okay, so what he does is he, he, he rushes to the battle, really intending to wade in and help everyone out, but he's totally distracted that all he can do at this point is... Well, he, he can say a couple of words because he's got to rush away and uh, take care of a particular problem. Spank makes his fall at that point. <laughs> Flop. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Laura, you really should watch it. You would enjoy it. Yes. I think I would. <laughs> it would appeal to both your thing. cynical side and your fluffy side. Yeah. I do at, have a very fluffy thing. At exactly the same time. It will be actually slightly painful at the start, but you'll enjoy it after a while. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic. Um. Keyword of this episode, flop. okay right i think we've actually missed part of the plot here and i would like to try once more to go out to the forest does that sound all right with you guys sure mm-hmm sounds good anything to do my you know accent (laughs) i'm not reading that again Nor that. Nor that. Oh, come on. Should I explore further? Sheer laziness. No, he gets very offended when I do it to him. (laughs) (laughs) I walk around the forest for a while. Yay! Another shadow darts out from the underbrush and leaps to attack. Right. So, magic blast. Magic blast, magic blast, then let's do an attack. Hmm. Alright, he survived that, so we need to do four magic blasts there, okay. Good lord! <laughs> Ooh! Right. Uh oh. She told us this not to come something. back. Yes. But you didn't listen. I was too busy staring at her breasts. Well, you, 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 hey. you gotta learn how to deal with that. <laughs> I do. I don't obviously draw that much anymore. <laughs> He's only got $169. Yeah. Um... Boy. Yeah, I hope we get a lot for the work we've done. Right, I don't think we can actually travel on anymore, so I'm going to go home. Not without dying. Yes. There we go. Uh, $56 extra. Not bad. Not bad. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably want to hit, go with one of these and uh, hit it, see if we can get the storyline going. Okay, go for it. So, should we do Cosplay Cafe? Mm-hmm. Sure. Let's do this for a few times, see if we can get some storyline out of it. Where's Alex? Welcome back, Master. Mm. Alright, uh, hang out here. So I'd hang out here for a while. No. No. Damn it. No. I spent some time practicing my magic. You know, it's not our business what actually is happening in the game. I know, they don't want us to know. (laughs) Well, it's definitely veered into magical girl territory. It definitely has. Alright, go somewhere else, to the forest. Going to the forest. (laughs) Mystica, we just go, Mystica! (laughs) Mystica! Oi! Gorgeous French chick. <laughs> My thanks. Someone outside just made the weirdest noise. What was it? Replicate it. Like, it. 
They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is the summer. Oh. Well, it's definitely not summer where I am. It's oh, horrendous. What, what's the temperature there? Oh, the temperature's not too bad, but it's raining all the time. It's ridiculous. Oh. You think we've changed to a tropical climate. <laughs> but I mean, it's not hot enough to be a tropical climate, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, had well, a I know, we all know the part of the world you live in. I mean, that means the temperature's got above freezing. <laughs> it's 12 degrees Celsius right What's now. That? Can I can I go and live where you are? <laughs> what are you just now? That's um high 50s. You're 20. You're 20 at the moment. Humidity at about 85%. Which yeah, basically humidity. means you can cut the air into slices and serve it up in a glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ours is pretty bad. It's 84 here. Okay, alright. I, I, I've got to be honest with you. I think I'm, we're, we're getting a little bit stumped on storylines here. Yeah. Maybe we've got to read more books? I think possibly we've got to read more books. That really, would be a good thing to do. And also, to be totally honest with you, if anybody in the chat can give us some non-spoiler hints, that would be absolutely great. Mm -hmm. Alright, check bookshelf. Put books on shelves. We want to get rid of Little Disruptor Volume 2 anyway. Don't put back a book. Check bookshelf. Put book in bag. We can buy manga at, uh... Yes. Yeah, we, we finished Provisional Princess, right? I think so. Let's try something. Okay, put me in the backpack. My backpack is full. Um... Pick bookshelf. Read a book. Right. Okay, we've read all those. We haven't read that. We haven't read that. We haven't read that. So, yes, we're out of anime. So, I think what we need to do here... Is buy is some more. Go buy some more. Hannah's. Oh, no. We can Whoa. order it online. We can't go to the. Uh, we can't go to the cosplay cafe. It's closed on Saturday. That's dumb. Right. Hmm. Right. Okay. Use computer. Well, the only thing about this is we've now got to wait three days. Eh. You just get uh, it tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we can do both, can't we? Yeah. Oh, and thank you for telling us which ones we've re uh, we've read. Um, well, we just read Little Disruptor Volume Two, so let's get three. And yes. use computer, shop online, manga. You want to order the Little Disruptor series, and you're certain to yeah. have what you need. Yeah. This is so well. This I love the interface here. <laughs> It's the best interface in the world. <laughs> God, this is like when I order something online and then like two minutes later I realize I want something else from that website, I so I order again. I <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck, I could have gotten free shipping! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, just, uh, we just used up all the money we could have uh, um, so, saved there, so we, well, we, all the money we earned last week, so let's go and work. Oh, there's also... Yeah. At some point, well, we should check our email to see if we get like bonuses for certain jobs, right? Uh -huh. Well, we get a message when an email comes in. Oh, okay. Oh, I never noticed that. Uh, That's, good. That's because we haven't had many emails. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> wants to email us. That's, hey, that's the universe I'd like to live in. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, go outside. Oh, Cosplay Cafe is open in the yeah. afternoon. Right, let's go buy some more books anyway. It's like, I was going to go on vacation with you girls, but I bought a lot of books. <laughs> a lot of manga. <laughs> Welcome back, master. No, you can't read them. Shop. So how far into the Royal Guard's life are we? Well, these are the things we haven't bought yet. Oh, and okay. that's basically, we haven't bought a Royal Guard's life. Jesus Christ, how many Tonkaba in the Royal Guard's life are there? Um, all of them. Ugh. Three. Shop. Four. That'll keep us going. And let's read. Complete guide to databases. <laughs> I continued reading the book about databasing. It's very important to database regularly, otherwise <laughs> it just dries out on top. <laughs> I choose to believe this is a cuddling cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what those are, Laura? 
No. They're... I just had an image in my head that it was a dusty cafe. No, they're cafes in Japan where you can basically go and have a woman, like, clean your ears or brush your hair or just lie down and snuggle with you or pat your head. Well, I wouldn't mind doing that, but cleaning somebody's ears? Yes. Ew, Excuse me while I just take a moment to cringe. I know, that's <laughs> disgusting. Okay, right, we've learned databases too, which means we should actually do more databases this is stuff now. This is, hang on, yes. I dropped my phone. Ah! Okay, so we are, well, we're pretty much out of time now. Okay, so we spend some time practicing our magic. <laughs> Flop. <laughs> okay, do you call someone? <laughs> that is the best game troll in the world. Right. Get frustrated. Flop. Uh, right. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Let's just check the bookshelf. Put books on the shelf. Let's get rid of provisional princess and uh, put a back book. Check bookshelf. Uh, put books in bag. So we read provisional princess volume two. So we want three now, don't we? Um. No, it was uh, Little Disruptor Volume 3 that we want. Little Disruptor Volume 3, that's right. And the they're not going to be online. delivered in three days. So you bought some more of the Royal Guard's Life, right? Uh, no yes, we did. Okay. So let's put number three in. And just to test, check bookshelf because the interface is fantastic. <laughs> read a book. <laughs> yeah, we haven't read that one. Okay. Right. Okay, so right, we're going to leave it there, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our triumphant return back to the land of visual novels, <laughs> stupid jokes, and the repeated <laughs> use of the word flop. Flop. <laughs> and for long-time adherence to the series, I wish I'd put my trousers on. <laughs> so until the next time, and there will be a next time, I've been Simon Parsons. These two have been insane, but that's all part of the fun. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.